Topping the news tonight, Alabama's 2018 failing schools list has been released, and two Tuscaloosa City schools are on that list. WVUA 23's Chelsea Barton is here live to tell us which schools those are. Chelsea? Well, Lynn, for the first time ever, Paul W. Bryant High School is on the failing schools list, and Central High School is back on that list as it has been the past several years. These Tuscaloosa City schools are joined by 73 others from throughout our state. The failing schools list is made up of schools whose spring 2017 ACT Aspire test scores are in the bottom 6% of schools in Alabama. I visited Paul W. Bryant High School today where principal Dr. Linda Harper says she was surprised to see her school in the bottom 6%. I was concerned about how my students would perceive this. And I was concerned, of course, about how my parents and the community would perceive it because we're doing great things. Clearly, when you look at, um, we're sending students to Columbia, to Harvard, and to the University of Alabama, all over the country. And so clearly, these, this is not a school that's in, uh, can be labeled or indicative of failure. Paul W. Bryant High School students I spoke with tell me they know their school is not a failure. Everybody's not a good test taker. You can excel in class around your community. When I was a sophomore, I took the Aspire test. It doesn't relate to the ACT at all. A lot of the questions are harder than the actual ACT, and I'm in the high 20s on the ACT, and I don't think my Aspire test affected that. Test scores, it's just based off of that one day and that one moment, mm -hmm. and everybody's thinking process is different. When you hear the word failing school, it has such a negative connotation, but I can definitely say that teachers here are pushing students to be the best, and we are the best. Tuscaloosa City School Superintendent Dr. Mike Daria understands this testing is a source of accountability, but does not think it's always an accurate reflection of the schools themselves, the students' learning, or their growth. To any parent or community member who hears that label and, and wants to know more, we say come visit us, come into our schools, see what's going on inside our classrooms, um, spend time with, with your child in his or her school, and we feel certain that that label would be, um, would be proven to not be a, an accurate reflection. And University Place Middle School was on the failing list last year, but came off through this latest list. Live tonight, I'm Chelsea Barton, WVUA 23 News.